In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Photopea's Magic Cut tool to get rid of the background in literally one click. So open up a photograph where you want to remove the background from. So I want to keep this lady's face, but I want to remove background. You then go to select Magic Cut. It takes a few seconds to think about it, um, but then it will open up. And what it basically does, if you can see there, is it tries to figure out what is the foreground and what is the background and it paints green splodges on the foreground and red lines on the background and it removes the background and leaves the foreground and, and there you have it, it's there. Now, if I wanted to have a transparent background up here where it says background, I can change that to be a transparent background and it's done. That is literally it. I can click on OK and the background's now gone. I'll do the same with this one. So I'm going to go to select Magic Cut. It takes a few seconds to think about it because it's actually going to do the job for you. It's going to get rid of the background and leave the foreground. And you can see it's done a pretty good job, but it's left. Oh, I've tapped it there. It's left um, this little bit here, just in between her fingers. So I'm just going to zoom in onto that section just to show you. Now, that's a bit of the background. So what I'm going to do is manually paint that with red. So I'm going to click on the red um, background tool up there. Can you see that the brush is too wide? It's going to touch part of the fingers there. So I'm going to make that a lot smaller in size. Then I'm going to click there, put a little red blob. And as you can see, it's now told Photopea that is the background. I'm going to zoom out, show you what that looks like. Uh, click on OK. And the background is gone. Now both of those were very easy to do because Photopea was able to figure it out on its own mostly because the background and the foreground were very different in colour. But I have this picture and you can see here that we do have an issue because part of this fox has a, a portion of fur which is very close in colour to the background white. So I'm going to go to select magic cut and show you how Photopea tries to deal with that it doesn't get it entirely right. So at this point, you're going to have to manually tinker with this and fix it, okay? So up here where the green, you're going to start painting parts of the fox that you want to keep. The green tells Photopea that part of the fox is foreground, and you can see that it's kept that bit. There's a bit down here, I'm gonna do that little bit there, see if it gets a bit more of that chin. Okay, but it does struggle with this edge. I've had a little play before I showed you. And you can see that it's now starting to pick up some of this white background. So it can be done. I can now get the, the red colour and start painting nearby that green to tell Photopea that that part is actually the background. It does a pretty good job. The other, the other bit that's really tricky with this picture is that the fair is quite de finely detailed. So if I click on the black background to show you that, you can see that part of the white background is showing through. You can have a little play and try and see if you can get rid of that by painting in, in that little bit of fair there with a bit of green and try and get rid of, get rid of that bit of white behind it. But it will struggle. But it doesn't do a bad job. Not really considering that that is quite a de ooh, ooh, that's a bit terrible considering that that is quite a detailed outline between the fair and the background it's not doing that a bad a job but it's obviously it has its limitations but if you've got a photograph with a very clear foreground and background you can get rid of it very very easily now the final thing you need to know about this is how to save it if i want to save this as a transparent background so that i can place that picture of the face on and overlay it and layer it onto something else. I'm going to need to save it to maintain that transparent background, okay? So one of the things you can do is go to File Export and save it as a GIF, okay? Saving it as a GIF will maintain that trans background and press save. And that's it, have fun!